How's uh, practice today? Good. Pretty day. Finally get some San Antonio weather. So uh, it, was, it, was, it was really good. Got, we got better today. Did uh, the course that you guys took the pads off again? Just what's the logic with that? Uh, you know, we just we get really physical on Thursday. And obviously, Saturdays are physical with it being live. And uh, a lot to clean the scrimmage up, install a little bit, you know, for Thursday. And uh, you, can, you can get better. And, and I, I've just been on too many staffs where by the time you get to the 15th practice, everybody's dreading it. Nobody wants to be here anymore. And you're not getting any better. And our guys still a lot to come to practice. And I think mixing in a few uh, non-padded practices uh, just – Gives them a little life, a little energy, you know. It gives them Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday for their bodies to heal up. And uh, we'll get some good team run Thursday, some good team pass Thursday, and then we'll scrimmage each other on Saturday. Was there anybody who stood out in the scrimmage or any big takeaways from that from last week? Oh, man, it seems like a week ago now. Um, I, you know, I think our running back situation, Ty, we're just, he's really coming on. Our offense, you know, we've got nine guys that have basically started for three years. So we took a lot of the load off of them, really trying to figure out who our sixth lineman is, our seventh lineman, our eighth lineman. Uh, defensively, who's the will? Who's that corner? Uh, who's the safety to Rashad? AP, uh, to, who's the safety to Rashad? Replace AP. Uh, those kind of situations. Um, I had to think about that. Uh, I know that our quarterbacks have been, been really good. You know, Frank has played very well. Eddie Lee's played very well. And Cam's played very well. And obviously, Diego's a high school kid in here. Honestly, uh, he's done well, too. But those those top three have really played well. Of course, the receivers we have can make a lot of quarterbacks look good. You mentioned Ty Edwards right away. What has he shown this spring getting his feet wet here? Um, you know, he's just learning the playbook. His, his, we've got to get him cleaned up on his blitz pickup. But we worked hard on that today. Uh, he's just a big downhill runner, and they all know I like to run the ball downhill, so he kind of just fits what we like to do. Um, but we need some other backs to step up. That 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 room is taking a lot of injuries, uh, you know, some serious injuries, you know, for a while. So it's a little scary for the depth. We, we've got to get Kavorian going, Julon, those kind of kids have really got to. We've got to see them and feel them. Uh, in these next, you know, five practices. Fair to say you can't undervalue at all the reps your defense is getting coached given the, the talent and the experience you have on the offensive side as they go against each other? Yeah, we, we took a huge step on our defense. That was probably the biggest, to answer Greg's question, the biggest uh, takeaway was how much more energy our defense had Saturday and uh, how much more confident they were. Uh, you know, Cliff, Chapman is starting to get understand that position. we got to have that happen. DeWan Griffin is really coming on at corner. Uh, that's a good sign. we got to have Xavier Spencer continue to come on. Uh, our defensive linemen that we brought in here are starting to learn the defense. You know, Zach Causey, Chase Davis, those are some guys. Uh, Trey Moore at the wheel linebacker. Jamori is starting to come on a little bit. Uh, Avery Moore has had a really good scrimmage at inside linebacker. Caden Holt made some big plays at inside linebacker. We know about, you know, Brandon Matterson and and B. Brown and Trevor Harmonson and Day Day and Donye. We've known those guys forever, right? We've got to get those other guys to come on. So, no doubt, the value of those reps, you know, we're 148 days out. I mean, we've only got five of these practices left. We, we cannot take any of them for granted. How's Jared Sackett look this spring getting back in here? That's, we, we, we usually go, you know, one to win, like field goal, then the next one punt, then next practice field goal, then punt. I believe we've gone field goal about, uh, of our 10 practices, I'm going to say we've gone a game winner on nine. And we've even gone two reps each most of the time because we're so spoiled because of Hunter. Uh, he was one of the most important recruits we had. Uh, we were thrilled to get him back. And he's been everything. Because uh, I had a little bit of inside information because he was in Arkansas when I was there. So I got to see Jared, you know, every day uh, there. So I knew what I was getting. And that's, that's, been, a, that's been an answered prayer uh, just because – not many kids could replace Hunter DuPlessis. And uh, Jared has the, the mental capability, the physical talent, the experience, the maturity. And he wants to be here. He loves being here, which that always helps. When we talked about the outside linebackers a couple weeks ago, you mentioned Caleb Lewis by name. What sort of jumped out about what he's done? He's a good kid. He comes from a good program. Uh, he, he's starting to get more confident. 
and, and he's starting to show up. And, uh, you know, it's, he's just a good boy. And he's, he's got some ability. And we just got to – all those young kids, we got to teach them the playbook. And there's a lot going on in college football. You know, and I, I was a high school coach, so that is in no way a derogatory comment towards high school. There's just so much more because we have so much more time to do football. How about Trey Moore? It had, you know, we saw him some last year, but how's he kind of expanded his role? Um, Trey's very explosive. You know, a Smithson Valley kid comes from another great program, uh, very mature. Uh, him and Caleb are very similar. You don't hear a lot out of them. They just show up every day, do their work, and, uh, and Trey makes plays. He had, a, he had a very good scrimmage Saturday. He did not play so well the Saturday before, but he had a, a very good scrimmage this Saturday. You, you can tell it's slowing down for him a little bit. He said you have five practices left. One of those is a spring game. So what do you look to get out of these this last you know week and a half? So. Well, this week is the biggest week. Uh, pretty much the spring game all over the country is, is for the fans and for the media. And by then, you've about got your ones taken care of, and you don't you, you got to find out about your younger kids. So we're, we're going to go very physical uh, Thursday in a team run, team pass situation. We'll scrimmage Saturday. And then that next week will be pretty much situations. And – <coughs> Excuse me. The spring game will be a lot of just base install with a lot of young kids. All right, Jeff. Appreciate cool. it. Thank, Thank you, you very much.